Hey, today's Team J4 exclusive. An armed fugitive leads police on a chase with his pregnant girlfriend and a child on board. And now that girlfriend is describing the frightening ordeal. The fugitive was shot and critically injured yesterday by a U.S. Marshal. Dermont Terry has new exclusive details from the scene near Forest Home in Lincoln, Dermont. Carol and Mike, Mario Lopez jumped out of his moving car at this intersection, leaving his pregnant girlfriend and a three-year-old inside. Tonight, that woman explains the frightening ordeal and what led up to the chase. Details you will see only on today's TMJ4. I was telling me and the baby are in the car. Chopper 4 shows the red Oldsmobile surrounded by law enforcement officers. Wednesday, U.S. Marshals tried to get the driver, Mario Lopez, to pull over. Do you think it was wise for Mario to run? No, I tried to stop him. I don't think it was wise. Rebecca Hubbard is Lopez's pregnant girlfriend. She and her three-year-old daughter were in the car. She tells me Lopez spotted someone following them. He didn't know who it was. U.S. Marshals were trailing the wanted fugitive who had violated his parole. It was about 15, 20 minutes they were following us before they even turned the lights on. But when the lights came on, Lopez refused to stop. Hubbard says he was determined to get away. What did you tell him and what did he tell you? He wasn't saying much. He was just driving. I was grabbing him, telling him to just stop and make it better on us all. After a brief chase, the 26-year-old made a move. He jumped out of the car and started to run. And then I just, I jumped out after him. I had to put the car in park. That's when the U.S. Marshals claimed Lopez showed a gun. They fired. Hubbard told me Lopez dropped the gun but never pointed it. Could it be that he accidentally dropped the gun and was going to use the gun? No, never, never. I think he was just looking for a quick way to run away. Several rounds went off. It's unclear how many hit Lopez. I just heard gunshots and I had to turn around and grab the baby so she couldn't see nothing. Now, we were told by the U.S. Marshal that they, uh, Lopez remains in the hospital on cri in critical condition. However, he is showing signs of improvement. He was actually talking today. As for the family and the girl, that girlfriend, she tells me that they can't get any updates on Lopez because he is now in federal custody, even though he is in the hospital. On your side, live on the city's south side, Jermont Terry, today is TMJ4. Jermont, uh, what type of charges is Lopez facing? Right now, he's in the hospital, uh, Mike, but we do know, according to the U.S. Marshal, that he could face state charges for fleeing officers and also more federal charges because he did, in fact, run and put officers in danger as well. Okay, Jamont Terry joining us live with that exclusive report. Thank you very much.